Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. It's Timmy here with Chalk Couture. It's great to have you here. And I uh, apologize for being a little uh, later than I usually am. I just got a call from my son, which is very exciting. I don't get to hear from him often. And so I was very excited that today I got a chance to say hello and chat with him for a few minutes. So this is exciting because as always, you know, I love being able to come to you guys live and uh, share some project ideas with you. Oh, I'm going to just turn off the volume on this computer so we don't hear them both. And if you're just hopping on in, be sure to say hi. Let me know you're here. And um, I'm going to be working with you today and giving you an idea about how you can use our monthly Club Couture transfer. Um, you might have seen one of my earlier uh, post it's the video of one that I did on our white Odette chalkboard but today I'm going to be doing it on an entirely new surface and we're going to be using this boring old clipboard you know the ones that you can get at your paper store right or your office store and they come in a pack and they're really inexpensive my guess is if you're like me you have some lying around somewhere right Hey, thank you, Barbara. Welcome. Hey, Cheryl. Hope you guys are good. I don't know. How are, how are y'all feeling today? I have to tell you, I was exhausted today. I don't know what happened, what came over me, but I literally took a nap before dinner, which I never do, but um, I don't know. We did some little work outside. Maybe a little fresh air was just enough to be able to um, get me a little... Uh, I don't know, tired. But anyway, but I'm back and I'm feeling really good and I'm really excited to show you this um, cool transfer. So this is our um, vintage typewriter. It is the Club Couture Transfer of the Month. And if you're not familiar with what the Club Couture Transfer is all about, let me tell you a little bit about it. I'm gonna turn this off here for just a sec and send, oops, send this over to you. This is um, an example of what it could look like if you utilize it on our um, 9 by 12 Aiden surface, and it's super cute that way, right? But um, it's also going to be really cute, I think, on this cool chalkboard surface. So I hope you're going to love it as much as I am going to love sharing it with you. Um, so let's get started, huh? So I'm not really needing to do anything at all with this surface. It is really just perfect the way it is. So Cheryl, you were outside working all day. Good for you. It was a great day to be out there. And thankfully, we finally got a little touch of spring going on here, right? Um, I'm really, was really happy to see some of the Perennials starting to poke up in my yard. My hostas are starting to come and break through the ground. Um, I picked some forsythia and put them in this really cool antique um, big blue jar water bottle, I think is technically what it is, um, from my um, foray at a closing farm that I picked up last year. So I'll have to show you the two. That's really cute. The Modern Floral Barber, that's great. That is such an awesome transfer. Remember, just remember when you use it, it's really, really, really sticky. So be sure to um, really fuzz it well so that you don't have to worry about it sticking to itself or um, anywhere else you don't want it to. Um, but other than that, it's super fun. Now you can cut it up if you want, by the way. I don't tend to, I like it big and I still have yet to use it to make on a square pillowcase, but I think that would be really fun. Um, hey, speaking of square pillowcases too, let me tell you that um, this month, as there have been the past several months, we've got some terrific specials for Club Couture subscribers. Um, and this month is you get 50% off selected, um, let's try this again, I'll show you here, selected textiles. So our banners, the pennants, um, and even the pillowcases are 50% off. So they're actually better priced than 
what we get as designers, because as designers, we get 40% off. Um, so this month, if you're a Club Couture subscriber, you get them for 50% off. So if you've been looking to buy some textiles, now might just be the time to do that. So um, all you need to do is just log in to the Chalk Couture uh, office, sign in, it'll recognize you as a Club Couture subscriber, and then you will be seeing those special prices. So that's pretty cool. So here we go, I have fuzzed our transfer and I have laid it down on our surface. Make sure there's no air bubbles. This has a lot of open screen area, as you can see. So just be aware of that. The other transfer I'm gonna use in conjunction with this is um, some of, uh, I'm gonna use this from our Boho Borders. Uh, I'm gonna use this one underneath here to put in our word that comes with this, which totally makes me laugh. I think it's totally perfect and it is um, making it up as I go. <laughs> I totally think that's me, I'm making it up as I go. Cheryl, thank you so much for sharing the chalk love. I love that, thank you, thank you. It's a new week, so uh, new chances to win some happy mail from me. So you have been entered, I'll be sure to add both you and Barbara. Hey Tracy, welcome. Oh Tracy, thank you for Spreading the chalk love, I love that. How is it in Pennsylvania? Has the weather gotten um, warmer there? Is it finally starting to feel like spring? I sure hope so. I was so happy to get a little sun on my face today. Um, so we've got a couple of different colors we're gonna work with in this transfer. And the last time I made it, um, if you saw the picture I posted, we had used um, just a single color, it was our grape, pink grapefruit, which is awesome, it's really a pretty color. But this time I wanted to actually do a two-tone on our typewriter. So we're gonna use that famous chalk and pull method. So if you haven't seen this before, you're in for a treat, I hope. I'm gonna take a few extra squeegees out so I have them here just in case. You can never have too many squeegees. And then the only other tool we want or need is um, our water spritzer. Oh, what you don't see is I have the other color I have here is black. So we've got black velvet, which I think I'm going to use to do this part of the um, kind of the carriage return part. And then most of the interior here, I'm going to use our couture coral. And this one is almost at the end, but we've got plenty more in here. Notice there was a bit of a chunk there. Um, I'm just gonna get that right in there and mix it up. This little, this little uh, chunk here will start to dissolve as I start to spread it in with the others. And then the other color I'm gonna use is our gold shimmer. And I love this because it's got a little glitter kind of built into the paste already. And I'm gonna use that for the outside area here is my plan. So we're gonna do some, some two-tone. I'm gonna to start from the top. I'm gonna to do the black here and then maybe in here. And then we'll do gold around the outside and then we'll use the coral inside. Sounds ambitious, doesn't it? <laughs> Hopefully it's not. <laughs> Cheryl, no, I haven't added anything to my bench yet. Um, that will be a future uh, live because I definitely think we are going to add a little bit of uh, pizzazz to that. That was what we did um, last night. Yeah, Tracy here too. It's going to rain later on in the week too. I think tomorrow we get one more nice day. And uh, and then I think it's going to go bleh. So, um now, let's start with our black, and I said we're gonna do our chalk and pull method. Hey, Christy, welcome, great to have you here. Hey, Kathy, thanks for joining. I am so excited that you shared, Kathy, that idea about those springs um, and how you can get them. In my VIP group, um, that's my Style Innovators group, 
if you are um, a member of that, you'll see that today I posted this cute um, spring that had been filled with some Easter goodies. Um, and it looks so cute. And Kathy said it was things that you could get just by taking apart an old box spring. And I was like, that is super cool. Um, and one of my other friends in the group mentioned that she had a bunch she was getting ready to throw out. So I'm kind of hoping that I might see one of those and give some of that technique a try. I thought it was really cool. All right, so we're going with black here. Hey, Carrie, nice to see you. I know, let's hope this comes out the way we want it to, right? Let's, I gotta stop chatting so much and chalk here so I can make sure. Now, it's very interesting. I'm finding that this definitely is soaking up the paste. So keep that in mind as you're working. You can always do that chalk and pull method, which is what we're gonna do right now. And I think I'm gonna do it before we go any farther. So you just want to take it and pull it up. Look at how cute that is. Already. It's already perfect. Yeah, Cheryl, do you have those bed springs? Or do you have some box springs that you already have in mind that you're going to use? Um, I'm going to grab my little multi-tool here because that's going to allow me to be able to get into this area with a little bit more detail, I think. I don't know if that should be gold. I think that is going to be gold. So I'm going to put, though, this, I'm going to make black. So it's very cool how this multi-tool makes some of this more detailed work a little bit easier. Matter of fact, I think I might even clean it up and use it for the gold because we've got some little areas in there. Now this transfer also comes with a couple of words. It has that making it up as I go. Uh, it has a little take note. So you can use this section in here. And it has a little high, which I think we're gonna put there because I think that would be cute for here. Tracy, you make a lot of things with bed springs. I would love, love, love to see some of the things that you make. If you're not a member of my VIP group, I would love it if you would join and share some your pictures there. I would just love that. Ah, oh, ah, recently you threw stuff out. I know. I wish I had known that too. I thought that was such a cool idea. Um, I had a friend who also told me that uh, one of the antique stores near us also has them. Um, I can't imagine they'd be very expensive, but hmm, hmm, I say that, but maybe they just are. Who knows? All right, so let's go with our gold next. Now, I definitely find when working with our gold paste here, one, it's a little bit thicker. You can see here, it definitely is thicker. And it also does take a little bit longer to dry. Um, now, I don't normally add water to my gold, but you know what? I've had this for quite some time, so I think we're gonna add a little water to it and give it a stir and see if we can thin it out. It seems a little thicker than I want it to be. And since we did the chalk and pull, I don't have to hurry. That's what's nice, right? Uh, you can actually, Tracy, um, there is a link for my group right on my page. Just click visit group right at the top. Um, if you don't see that or it's not visible, just put VIP and I will um, add you, I will send you the link so that you can add yourself. Um, as well. We have to actually be friends on Facebook for me to physically add you so I can send you the link or you can friend me, whatever you prefer. Um, so yeah, definitely no problem with adding. I don't know why I never added water to my shimmers. I just never have. Does anybody else use these shimmers? Have you had any issues with adding water to it? I can't imagine we would. Why not, right? It's paste just like our others. I know, we'll have to see if uh, we can find some around, don't you think, Cheryl? My guess is that we will be able to find them around here or maybe find a friend, a nice friend who, who would like to share some goodies with us. 
Dawn had mentioned though, so I'm hoping that she's got some that she might be willing to share with us. And just make sure, you know, with the chalk and pull, when you pull it back up, just make sure that it's um, back down again and there aren't any air bubbles. And again, because this gold takes a little bit longer to dry, I find I don't have to work quite as fast either. So that's another nice benefit to these shimmers. And because it does have a little bit of glitter in it, we're gonna be pressing it really into the screen. It really does flow a little bit differently than our other solid chalk paste color. So just keep that in mind. So make sure you press it in there and then we can use one of our bigger tools once we've got this these details worked out. <laughs> I feel like I uh, am playing with mud or something here. It's very interesting how this is going on. Now remember the green areas are adhesive, so um, those are not gonna leave any designs behind. So that will be kind of a nice, easy way to ensure that you've got a nice border without blending colors inadvertently. Oh, so you did get some. What did you do with yours, Cheryl? Have you used them yet? I'd love to see what you did with yours. They are just so darn cute. I think I'm gonna have to go on Pinterest and find a few more ideas of how they were used. Um, Sandra, I think, when she was looking at that picture today, suggested it'd be great for a Christmas ornament too. To hold a Christmas ornament. So if you have a special ornament, that would be super cool, I think. So since we are using the chalk and pull method, as we talked about, we don't really have to worry about moving quite as quickly. And we can kind of play a little bit with this detail work and add it on top of the fact that we've got this shimmer paste that we know sometimes just takes a little longer to dry. We've really got some wiggle room here, which is great. And then when we go in to do the center, it'll be really fast. I wanna make sure we got all that in there. All right, I think that is just about all of it. Oh, excellent. Thank you. I'm glad you found it, Tracy. Excellent, excellent. All right, so we see the gold outline. So that's cute. Just a little uh, vintage-y look, which is exactly what we want, right? Why not? All right, and then we'll put this back down. And again, just make sure it's nice and smooth. And we get those air bubbles out. Now, if you're not yet a Club Couture subscriber, I know uh, some of you already are, but if you aren't and you really love this transfer, um, you can sign up to be a Club Couture subscriber. The Club uh, subscription won't actually start until next month, so you won't get charged um, that until next month. The fee for Club Couture is $19.99 and free shipping, so it's a great deal, and every month you'll get a... Um, brand new exclusive transfer that's just for club members and you'll also get three coordinating chalk paste singles so let me show you what um, the kit will look like um, if you do become a subscriber so it'll look something like that um, the colors that come with this transfer for club members are coral I think that's ocean mist and almond um, so enough to be able to finish the project for sure. Um, you can, because this month's subscribers have already received their uh, transfer or it's in the mail to them, um, you um, won't get the new subscribers sent to you until next month. 
But if you love this transfer, you can actually get this transfer um, and add it on to your order when you set up your subscription. You can also pick up what we call a quick start kit um, for Club Couture subscribers. And that's a really awesome uh, deal as well because it's got some um, surfaces, it's got a squeegee, it's got a white chalk paste, um, it's got a bunch of things that you'll be able to use um, in conjunction with your Club Couture designs that come to you every month. So if you kind of think, hey, this is cool, I'd love to play with this, and I'd love to get a new design every month, the Club Couture program might just be something you'd like. And, you know, it's a great deal. For $19.99, you get a surprise transfer in your mail every month. It's super cool. It's kind of like Christmas. Um, every month, I, can't, I can never wait to find out what the new design is going to be like. And lately, the designs have been really gorgeous. I have to say, I've been really, really excited about them. So, um, that is cool. So, you guys are chatting. I love that you're chatting. Okay, so let's see. I, uh, oh, okay. So, I have a whole collection of bed spring uh, ideas on Pinterest. Oh, Kathy, I will follow you on Pinterest. I can't wait to see them. That's awesome. Um... You can also use the glass insulator upside down and put a candle in it. Yes, I've definitely seen those. You see those a lot at um, flea markets and um, craft shows. So that would be a great idea as well. Pick some of those up. I'm always finding a few of those along the way, which is kind of cool. All right, so Kathy, I'm going to check out your Pinterest board. I love Pinterest. Love getting ideas there. Get a lot of inspiration from that. And also, obviously, from my fellow designers. Um, they are really awesome with sharing some great ideas with each other. It's one of the great things about being part of this designer community. It's a great group. And uh, wanting us all to succeed is really one of the best parts of having this as a business. All right, and we are almost done here. And this is the coral, by the way. So if you're watching and you're wondering... What color this is, that's what it is. All right, I'm trying to get not too close to that black. Hmm, oh, that looked like it soaked right up. Did you see that? It really soaked right in to this. It's like, <sighs> Did you hear that? I felt like I heard it. <laughs> it really looks vintagey. <laughs> that is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of like soaked and sucked it right in. Well, we wanted it to be vintagey, and guess what? It is. <laughs> Five gallon bucket of them. Oh, that's cool. That is super cool. I love when you find great deals like that. We have um, a auction um, that does a live and a, I don't know, kind of a free-for-all auction every Thursday night. Now, of course, not it's not on right now, of course, because everything's closed. But um, I have definitely gotten whole tables of stuff, like frames and a whole bunch of things that I was able to repurpose. And that was, whoop, <laughs> uh-oh, where is my magic eraser? Or right, let's see. I had a little blob on my hand. <laughs> All right, there we go. If I grab my, oh, here we go. It's underneath my transfer that I just put in my water bath. That is so interesting that it sucked it right up. Well, we're going to put some other words down here, so I don't think we're going to worry too much about the fact that we got a little black there. All right, go take care of your pup. Mine came in and visited me as well. She is asleep on the floor. Asleep on the floor. Sorry, I realized I'm missing. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. 
All right, so we've got our gold. We've got this coral that got kind of vintagey. We've got the black, and even the black, you could see it kind of just soaked in. It kind of gave us this nice little vintagey look, which is kind of cool. And we have our making it up as I go. We want to put our high here, I think. And then I think that this, from the boho, would be really cute. So let's see if I can make sure I line this up and be straight. So there we go. So we've got this little line. We're going to put this here. You know what? I think I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more. I like this that it says making it up as I go because that's totally me. I'm always making it up as I go. Now, what do you think? Should we use the black? I think I'm going to use the coral for this. And then I'm going to use the black for the words. And I'm going to try to do this even faster and see if we can get that to stay on a little bit thicker. There we go. That's kind of cool, isn't it? And then we'll put this one up here. And I'm sitting down, so hopefully this is... Whoops! Be nice if I actually put it down, huh? That's all right. There we go. So we've got that. And we're gonna add our high on here in black. And I think we're gonna add in our making it up as I go. I'm just looking for my high in my bag here. Today I was working on one other design using this transfer and I put it on my big 18 by 18 board. Hmm. I think I'm going to actually use the coral up here and I'm going to use the black words down here. Cute. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. This will be fun to use. It'll make me happy, I think, when I'm using it. All right, so we're going to close that up, put this away. Got a big water bucket over here with all my stuff in it. And I'm going to give this a second just to have this part dry so we can put on that last part of the words. But while we're doing that, I'll show you. Let's see if you can see it here. Oh, it's so big, you might not be able to see it all. So I've got my typewriter, and it's going to have a bouquet of flowers coming out of it. So I'm still working on those flowers. I'm going to keep adding it until it's full. Once it is, I'll show you what it's done. It's actually going to go in my office right behind me. I figured I could use a lot of colors. I need a lot of colors right now. That time of year, we need some brightness, right? All right, this looks like it's almost dry. Can always give it a little blast if you need to. This is a heat tool, so that's all that is. Thanks, Trace. I know, it's really cute, isn't it? This is a great design. There's a lot of things you can do with it. So I think um, I'm gonna have Lots of fun continuing to play with it. And I love this type. It's uh, crooked. It's supposed to be crooked. So for those of you that worry if things don't line up right, this is perfect for you because it's not meant to. That's what's great about it. Easy peasy peasy. And there we go. So just remember when you're working on this kind of surface, it definitely does soak up your paste. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? What do you think, guys? Do you love it? I think it's really darling. I am going to love using this, I think.
It'll be fun to bring to my craft shows when we get to go back to doing our vendor events, right? It's another way that I get to go and share the chalk love with people, which I have a lot of fun doing. I love being able to do that in person. I miss that opportunity so much, but I am so glad that we get to join together and be live and share project ideas. So that's it, guys. That was it. It was so fun. Fast and easy, right? We are done with our live for tonight. Um, I am going to let this dry. And now I have a cute little uh, board I can use when I want to take notes. So um, until next time, guys, thanks so much for joining. And I hope you guys have a really, really good, good night. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.